and then they will ask three questions. Three questions. Man Rabbuka. Man Rasuluka. Ma Dinuka. Who was your sustainer? Who did you consider as your sustainer? Who did you consider as the messenger of Allah? And which religion did you adopt? What was your code of life? What was your mode of ethics? Which religion, which prophet did you follow and whose followers were you in? Which religion did you belong to? These were the three questions. These will be the three questions that person will be asked. What horror, what terror, what solitude? And the three questions, remember, these three questions, the person will answer not just by memorizing the answers to these questions. It's not just possible that we just try to cram up, up and we just try to memorize the questions, assuming and expecting that once we remember the questions, we'll be able to answer them right. No. It's only the person. It is only going to be the person who lives, who strives, who struggles in the life according to the commandments of Allah according to the orders of Quran, according to the teachings of the verses of Quran, that a person will be able to answer the question Man Rabbuka with the correct answer. It will be only the person who obeyed what the Prophet ﷺ had brought, what he had taught, the teachings of the Sunnah, the teachings of the Hadith, if a person accepted them, were not averse to them, were not rejecting them, then only will he have the capacity or will he be able to answer this question in the correct answer. And only and only the person who had made who had made the code of life and the mode of ethics and the teachings of Islam as his lifestyle then he would be only he would be the person to answer the question in the right manner so now what will happen then what will a believer answer and what will be a disobedient person's answer and what will be the repercussions of the answers then prophet says in a uh, Hazrat Bira bin Azib radiallahu ta'ala and who reposts in Musnad Ahmad and Abu Da'ud that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then said the two angels will come in the grave of the believer they will make him or her sit up and then they will ask who was your sustainer? Man Rabbuka the believer will say Allah is my sustainer the angels will then ask what is your religion? the believer will say my religion is Islam Nahnu lahu muslimun. Then they will ask, Who was the person sent to you? The believer will say, He was the Prophet of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then the angels will ask, How did you know all this? The believer will say, I read the book of Allah and I had faith in it and I bore testimony to it. All the answers right all the answers right three out of three a plus what will happen now these are the words i'm adding on to explain the situation then prophet said a caller calls from the sky there will be a voice from the heavens and it will it will be said it will be said my slave said the truth bring for her or him a bed from jannah and a dress from jannah and open a door to the side of Jannah to let air and scent enter the grave from Jannah and then the grave will be widened to unlimited stretches and then Prophet said the person will be asked to sleep like a new bride sleeps and then the person will be raised will be woken up twice once in the morning and once in the evening and then from the window of the Jannah, the person will be shown that that person's position and rewards and status and palaces that the person will be rewarded with as bounties of Jannah. 
And then Prophet said, there will appear before him a fair-faced person wearing a beautiful dress with a fine scent. And the person will say, glad tidings of rest and peace for you. This is the day you were promised. And the believer will ask, who are you? How beautiful your face is. You have brought blessings and good fortune for me. And the person will say, I am your noble deeds. And then the believer prays, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, resurrect soon so that I may meet my family. This, was, this is all what will happen to the believer in the grave. This was, this was all the narration of the Prophet ﷺ for the grave of a believer. The graves which we have seen, the graves which we have visited, the graves which we have touched, the graves by the foot end of which we have stood, the graves to whom we've handed over our near and dear ones. This will be the narration of all the graves of the believers. And then what for the non-believer, what will be his place and what will be the happenings in the grave of a non-believer? When the person will be asked, the person, the non-believer, the transgressor, the hypocrite, the polytheist in the grave will be raised by this Munkir and Nakir and will be asked the same questions. Who was your sustainer? Who do you believe as your sustainer? Manra Puka. And the person will say, I do not know. And then the next question, what is your religion and what do you think about the messenger of Allah? The person will say, when the angel will say, who is that person, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would say, I said, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not actually aware of the actual reality. I just said what the people said. So, the person will be told, neither, neither you understood the Quran, nor did you read the Quran. And then the grave, and then when the person will obviously, none of the answers will be correct. Then Prophet ﷺ said, then there will be, there will be a cry from the heaven and it will be announced and it will be ordered. Give, give this person a bed out of hellfire and a dress out of hellfire and open up and open up a window or a door or a hole in the grave from hell and then Prophet ﷺ said angels angels for punishment will be imposed on him on the person angels of punishment and angels which will be torturing the person they will be blind and they will be deaf and they will have hammers and they will have maces and they will they will beat the person between his ears with these maces and the person will cry the person will howl the person will yell the person will shriek and all the sound will be heard by all the creatures of the world other than the human beings and the jinns and amongst all this once in the morning and once in the evening this person will be made to see and witness his position in the hell his position in the hell will be shown to him so these will be the conditions the happenings and the punishments and the torments of the person of a person who is a non-believer in his grave the bounties of the grave will be for the believer 